The following video is brought to you by the Space Coast Association of Realtors. Okay, welcome to the uh, introductory course on Innovia. Innovia is our um, uh, MLS program. Um, we've had this program for a number of years here in Brevard. Uh, as you know, we share this with, uh, with Melbourne. And it's a web-based system. Uh, not all the MLSs when we started looking a few years back were web-based, but this one is, which means it's very flexible. All you have to do is go to the computer anywhere. If you're out of town, you can go into a local library, get on the internet, go into brevardmls.com and you'll come up with this page and you'll be able to log in and run searches and do CMAs and put listings in and make changes and all those, all those good things. Uh, so here's your login page. There's a couple buttons down here. There's a public site. Uh, the public can go to brevardmls.com, click on the public site, and they can go in and, and find homes uh, that are in our MLS. There's also a browser optimizer. If you click on this blue button here, the browser optimizer, the first time you do that, a little pop-up will come up and it'll tell you to install an ActiveX program. You'll want to do that. And then every time you think you're having a little bit of an issue with Innovia, you want to pull up that uh, optimizer and make sure that all these items here on the left-hand side say acceptable and that there are no fix buttons. If there are any fix buttons on the right-hand side, you'll just click on those, go down to the bottom, and click continue and then you'll get into the login page so you go to login page and type in your login that was provided to you when you became a member you type that in click login and that'll get you to the main page of BrevardMLS.com for Anovia You'll see starting at the left, there's a little drop down list at the top for search, hot sheet, maintenance to put in listings, reports, uh, administrative uh, features that are used mostly by staff, miscellaneous items such as printing out the training book or changing your password, and also financials to, to do a um, loan amortization or maybe a seller net sheet, some things like that. What you'll notice here on the left is hot sheet. It's reflected here in the last 24 hours of what's going in the MLS. We've got about 34 new listings, 47 price changes, 18 closed, and that's just in the last 24 hours. If you go to these buttons up here, you can go back in additional days up to five. Okay. Uh, your inventory would be over here on the left, and within your inventory you would have your actives. Under PE, you would have any of your pendings. Under KO, any of your contingents. And CL would be any of your closed. Any expiring prospects in the next 14 days would be listed below that. And any expiring listings that you have would be there that were going to expire in the next 30 days. Then we have our little gold boxes here. Um, you've got a little bit of flexibility with them. You can go over here to where the little padlock is. It says unlock and click that see that it's unlocked now and you can move the little panels around to put them in the whatever order you want to put them in and then go back and re-click on the little padlock if there are some of these boxes in here that you don't want um, you could go in here under the little thing that looks like a pencil you can click on that and you can click on the ones that you want to show up on your main page Over here on the right, you can go into this button here to add listings. Below that is your standard forms button. If you click on that, you'll be able to go in and see some of the forms that we have for ordering uh, uh, listings for your website um, or the input forms here. If you click on the input forms, and let's say you go to residential, and you go to the PDF version, not the HTML, and you can print out a hard copy or save a hard copy of your listing input form 
that you would take with you when you go out on a, uh, a listing call. Below that is a button that says Comprehensive CMA. We uh, uh, teach that class in, in an advanced class. Uh, so after you get to be somewhat proficient in the basic ANOVIA, you could go in and do a comprehensive CMA and put together a nice report with all the comparables in it, the cover sheet, cover letter, statistics, mapping, resumes, marketing plans, things like that. Open houses, if you wanted to search open houses, if you had a buyer coming into town and you wanted to show homes over the weekend, you could go into the open house search and find uh, properties that are going to be uh, available for open house. There's a separate section for help topics, so if you're trying to teach yourself how to use the system, you can go to the help topics. They have uh, little movies in there and also uh, verbiage on, on running various programs. Prospect Manager, a uh, very popular program. Uh, when you have a buyer, you go to the Prospect Manager, you put in their search criteria, the, the things that they want to, to be looking for, and um, it can be set up to set them where they'll get an email whenever something new comes on the market or something changes that they've looked at before, they'll get an automatic email with a link that they can click on and go into what we call their prospect cart. And from their prospect cart, they can um, email you, make comments about the listings, uh, and print out the listing, email it to other people, things like that. Uh, the buyer match is like a reverse prospect. That's where if you have a listing, you can find out if there are any prospects that match your, match your listing. Under the agent roster button and the firm directory are hard copy PDFs of the roster for the entire MLS in Brevard, including Melbourne. Or you can go up to reports and use either the agent roster, firm roster, or firm agent roster to pull up an individual agent or everybody in a particular, particular office. Here's a button here for property panorama. Property panorama, you can make your own virtual tours. Uh, have a good tutorial in that program where you can learn how you take the pictures, which is the most important thing. Get the pictures in the order that you take them into a folder and then move them from your camera into a folder on your, on, your, on your laptop or your PC where the program Property Panorama can then take the pictures and make them into a movie and create a nice virtual tour for you. IMAP is another third-party vendor program. Um, their specialty is um, working with public records. So they obtain the Brevard County tax records. Uh, they update it with the foreclosure sales, with the Liz Pendens filings, uh, with, uh, with um, uh, flood zone information, demographics, mapping, and it's also a good source to use for creating mailing labels. So if you wanted to go into a condo on the beach and find out all the non resident owners, you could do that with IMAP and, and print out labels to, to market to those particular people. So we do a separate class on the IMAP program. So those are your buttons on the side. I wanted to mention a couple things at the bottom. When you're in Anovia, the first time you log in, you're allotted 85 minutes of time. Uh, if you need an, an additional 85 minutes, you just click on the refresh button and it'll give you another 85 minutes. And when you get down to like five minutes, a little lady starts to talk to you and tells you that it's time to refresh or be aware that you're going to get logged off the system. The tab feature is something new that Anovia added, added about a year ago. It's a nice feature because you can now be doing a little bit of multitasking. So if you're working on one thing for a client and somebody calls and says, hey, can you look up such and such property for me? You can just hit the tab and it'll op open up a new tab without having to re-log in or anything, and you can work as independently from that tab as you can from the other tab.